Suction. Suction. Retractor. Retractor. Defibrillator. Defibrillator. Subscribe. Subscribe. Sca scalpel. Scalpel. I meant scalpel. Wait, wait, wait. Are you a YouTuber? Wait, what? No, 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 no. I'm not. Yeah, no, 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 no. Aren't you the Amarsing? No way, bro. You do YouTube? Try saying what's up, guys, to me. <laughs> See if that helps. <laughs> Comment down below if you like, please. Hi, my name is Maz, and I'm officially a doctor now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh, like, yeah, comment, right, subscribe. Right. Have you heard of Rachel? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Maz. Hello, Maz. This might come as a surprise for you guys, but during the last three years of me doing YouTube, I've also been going to a teensy weensy easy little baby wavy thing called medical school. <laughs> And the reason I didn't bring it up earlier on my channel was because I was scared of being punished if I brought it up as a medical student. But now that I'm out, I can finally talk about what I've been dealing with for the past few years. The crazy experiences, the lessons I've learned, and the moderate <laughs> amount of self-loathing that I've gained. Unfortunately, those stories will be for future videos because I want to talk about my journey with this entire YouTube versus medicine gig. Fool! Wait, what? Mortal scum! An apple a day keepeth the doctor away! <laughs> that rhyme was made so that people ate more fruit. The things you learn in medical school, am I right? Anyway, let me take you all the way back to when I was a teeny weeny kid in primary school, when I was first introduced to the world of animation. I was playing around with this old stick figure based program called Pivot, and whilst I wasn't very good at it, I didn't really care at all, because I was mesmerized. Ever since then, I've always tinkered around and made some sort of digital content by myself, like my childhood original character, or an awkward interview, or this game where you're supposed to annoy the character until he jumps off a cliff, what the heck were you doing? Young Mars, you need to chill. Yeah. But I was so passionate about doing digital media that I even considered it as a career. And I distinctly remember that when I was in the car with my parents, I mustered up enough courage to tell them. Mother, father, I, Marzius, wish to pursue digital media as a job after high school. What do you say? Now, I had forgotten that my parents were very, um... Brown. So to them, I wasn't even bringing up a legitimate career choice. It was so far outside their grasp of reality that they thought I was joking. Because you know what they say about brown parents. You can either be a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer, or a failure. But you know what, mom? I became a doctor and a failure. So take that. <laughs> My decision to actually enter medicine came after I attended this nerdy science camp thing in Australia. I went to a workshop where they were showing off architecture and engineering. Because hey, I was good at art, I was good at maths, and so wham bam, thank you ma'am, this should have been perfect, right? No, no, yeah, I was very bad at it. Feeling really down after that, I saw that they were holding a workshop for a mock medical entrance exam. And I thought, why not, you know, like it wouldn't hurt to try it, right? And oh, oh man, I blitzed that thing. Like, I did dummy well for it being my very first time. Unfortunately, this also meant having to accept that I'm not different. That I'm not quirky nor random. And that I was just like the other brown boys. And so when I got back home from camp, I walked up to my parents and told them, Yeah, I don't know. I'm probably gonna apply for medicine. Oh, thank God he won't be a failure. And so off I went, packed my bags, made my parents cry a ton, and started the next chapter of my life. Yeah, it was super nerve-wracking, but I was also super duper keen to be living an independent life at university. But seriously, I did really well throughout the first few years. I got great marks, I started tutoring my kohai, and made some awesome non-quirky friends along the way. Everything was gonna be A-OK, -okay, all according to the brown plan. And so imagine my surprise when I felt lost during my holidays. I mean, everything was going okay, but something was just slightly off. And I wasn't bored or anything, because I was playing like Final Fantasy XIV for 12 hours every single day, so I guess I was having fun? But surely this wasn't it, right? Is it just going to be this kind of static lifestyle from here on out? What do you think, guys? Bro, you, dude, you're not doing enough damage, man. We, we all wiped because of you. What? You mean to say that I'm feeling this funk because I'm subconsciously aware that I still want to pursue a career in digital media, but won't be able to because I've been shoehorned into a time-intensive line of work?
Wow, you're so wise, guys. All right, kick this guy. And so my holidays continued, playing online games on autopilot, eating whatever was in front of me, and lazily watching YouTube. And it was around this time that this dude named Domix kept popping up all over my recommended. And I'm like, Domix? More like Domix. <laughs> but I clicked on the video anyway. And... I kind of liked it. Next, YouTube recommends me this tall, white marshmallow guy named The Odd Is Out. Like, psh, who? What? I'm totally not into him. And finally, YouTube slides me another channel by the name of Jaden Animations. And I was like, wow. Who is this dumb Asian bitch? Big hearted girl, awesome creator, an angel living amongst us mere mortals. <laughs> In all honesty, whilst I really enjoyed these animation channels, nothing really stood out to me in terms of inspiration. That is until I watched Jaden's video about Hero's journey, some of Domix's videos, and... Well, James is just there, I guess. But these videos all discuss juggling both YouTube and university at the same time. And... I felt so ashamed. Because here I am, telling myself that I can't make content because I don't have enough time, and here are people around my age doing just that and succeeding. Was it really a case of not enough time? Or was I just making excuses? And so yeah, that really spurred on my motivation, and that's when I decided to make YouTube videos alongside university. And it wasn't until six months later that I learned Dom, Jaden, and James all dropped out of university for YouTube. Wait, what? It's funny, because when I started YouTube, I had a few requirements that I needed to match before I made videos. One, I wanted to remain anonymous so that my classmates didn't find out. Two, I wanted to be generally accessible so that anybody could watch my videos and enjoy them. And three, it had to be more or less family friendly, because my baby brother watches this kind of stuff, and I don't want to set a poor example to him, so you know. you, bro. So, anonymity, accessible, family friendly. Hmm, what could I make? Oh, I know! Anime reviews! But that didn't work out because I kept getting copyright strikes, I hated editing, and I was really bad at being entertaining. Then I sat back down and had to rethink my entire game plan. What did I actually enjoy that would translate over really well onto YouTube? ASMR! <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. I realized that I love telling stories. It's all I ever do with my real life friends, so it was natural that I do the same for YouTube. And so I dusted off my old equipment, made my first animation, and joined rank as a story time animator. It's funny because I thought the animation would be done in like two days and boy, I was right. Man, this animation thing is so quick and easy. Why are people... Mm, I'll save this. Please, please save. Now, if you're in the same position as me, here's some of my advice. If you want to juggle your work, college, whatever with your other passions, then it's definitely possible to do that. You have way more time than you think. But you do have to approach it with some level of moderation, a plan, and realistic expectations. I think it's important to realize that with YouTube and anything online really, because of how unstable it is, I recommend having some sort of backup plan as well. Unfortunately, I found that if you tip your effort levels too much either way, that it will all crumble. For me, if I focus too much on YouTube, then my medical marks crash right through the floor. Similarly, if I focus too much on medicine, then I don't upload on YouTube for months and I take a huge hit on my growth. I can't even tell you how many times in the last few years I've been pulled, pressed, or stretched due to these two massive commitments in my life. Hey, you wanna hang out after lectures? I can't, I'm making a video. Hey, you wanna stream with us? Can't, I'm studying. Hey, could I get some painkillers? Can't, I'm making a video and studying. Also, I don't feel like it. But guys, I'm at a bit of a crossroads. Now that I've graduated, the rest of my working medical life is waiting for me. Spending time at the hospital for the full 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and everything. But I don't think I'm okay with being a doctor when knowing that I haven't given YouTube 100% of my effort just yet. And so I've decided to take a year off before starting my internship. That means for 2020, this entire year, I'm going to be working as a full-time YouTuber. This isn't a spontaneous decision either. Since last year, I've been saving up as much money from YouTube, scholarships, and whatever I could to hopefully last me throughout 2020. Fingers crossed there. I don't have too much, but it's definitely enough for me to eat food, pay rent, and survive. But other than that, this year, I'm kind of on my own with YouTube as my primary source of income. And that's why guys, if you watch my videos, enjoy them to any capacity, and want to support me in the future, 
then please consider supporting me on Patreon, YouTube channel memberships, or my new merchandise. I reworked them all to be worthwhile to you, especially the merchandise, because I look at this. Doesn't, doesn't this look really cool? <laughs> and if you're not in a situation to help out like that, then just watching my videos, engaging with comments, or forcing your loved ones to watch is good enough for me. So Maz, what happens at the end of 2020? Well, contrary to the stereotypical brown dude push into medicine, I actually love it, and I definitely plan on coming back to it in the future. But with my own channel, well, I don't know. What I would love to do is keep creating videos, but unfortunately with the little time I'll have with work, I probably won't be able to sustain my YouTube channel that well. So if I don't find a way to be more efficient or get help with creating videos, then I'm probably going to have to stop making videos on YouTube. And that's why I'm biting the bullet and asking for help. So if you're an animator, background artist, colorist, editor, storyboard artist, and you want to help me make videos, then email me with your portfolio at this address. It'll be paid, of course, in exposure and money. So yeah, it's really, really nerve wracking. And I'm not even sure if I can keep this up for the whole year, but I'm absolutely going to try my best. Sure, I love the feeling of making videos with my own distinct touch to them. But you know what I love more? Actually being able to create videos and not ending my channel. It still doesn't feel real that I'm a doctor? Like, I'm now supposed to take care of other people's lives? Like, what? Anyways, uh, if you stuck around this far, then I want you to comment apples will win down below so that I know that you're a true blue Martian. All right, thanks for watching all the way through, guys. Laters, and stay amazing.